Om Namah Shivaya students today we are going to start with class 11 political science part b chapter 10 part 5 development students in the today's session we will have a one democratic participation number 2 development and life cycle number 3 conclusion to the chapter number 4 assignment to be done in part b chapter 10 part democratic participation students how many times you have been told that you must do something say obey your parents or teachers for your own good and how have you felt like saying if it is good for me please let me decide that myself the distinction between democracy and dictatorship is that in a democracy conflicts over resources or different reasons of the good life are resolved through debate and respect for the rights of all and this cannot be imposed from above thus if everyone in a society has a common stake in achieving a better life then everyone needs to be involved in the formulating the plans of development and in devising ways for implementing them there is a difference between following a plan made by others and sharing in the formulation of plans firstly even if others make plans with the best intentions they are likely to be less aware than you about your specific needs secondly being an active part of the decision making process is empowering both in democracy and dictatorship development are concerned with realizing the common good by what process can the common good be defined in democratic countries the right of the people to participate in decision making bodies to take decisions about developmental projects in local areas increasing the powers and resources of the local bodies is thus being advocated on the other hand it is argued that people have to be consulted on issues which most affect them and it should be possible to reject projects which can be adversely affect the community on the other it is said that involvement in planning and formulation poli policies allows people to direct resources towards their needs where a road must be laid what should be the route of the metro or local buses where a park or a school should be located whether a village needs a check dam or an internet cafe should be decisions which must be taken by them now let's think this picture are of satyagraha in the village of domkhedi in narmada valley as a result of the construction of sardar sarovar dam the waters of the narmada flooded the valley the narmada bachao andolan protesters chose to face the rising waters when the water rose dangerously up to the shoulders of the activist the government arrested them find out more about this controversy and discuss the merits and demerits of big dams is the sardar sarovar dam a good way to solve the problem of water shortage were the activists justified in offering resistance to this government scheme or not these are the questions that you have to go through the detail of the construction of the dam and the effect of it and have to write this report on it was argued above that the prevailing model of development is top down and tends to view people as object of development it assumes that there is one best way to arrive at solutions for our problems 
in the process the accumulated knowledge and experiences of the people may be ignored a decentralized approach to development makes it possible to use various kinds of technologies traditional and modern in a creative manner now let us read this conversation and understand the various concepts uh, concepts that arises in the mind of the people look only i got the latest mobile phone it is truly state of art with bluetooth games and all that this one's nice but you had bought a new phone only a few months back what happened to that one oh that was an old model that is why i disposed of it hmm but do you know how much non degradable waste e waste it creates this makes worse the problems that our eco system is facing today so this is about the awareness that has to be um created amongst the people this is an attempt to create an awareness this is a uh, discrimination that the people must have over the use of the resources for their best possible good and for their best possible interest if the things are available to us the correct discrimination about the use of the things also has to be understood development and lifestyle an alternative model of development would also try to move away from the high cost ecologically wasteful technology driven notion of development development should not be measured only by the number of cell phones in the country or by the sophisticated weapons which are developed or by the size of the cars which people drive but by the quality of life enjoyed by the people in terms of happiness and harmony and satisfaction of essential needs at one level efforts should be made to conserve natural resources and use renewable sources of energy as far as possible efforts such as rainwater harvesting solar and biogas plants micro hydel projects compost pits to generate manure out of the organic waste are examples in this direction such activities have to be taken place at a local level and therefore demand higher involvement from people big projects are not the only way to effect big improvement opponents of the big dams have advocated a series of small dams and bunds which require much less investment cause minimal displacement and can be beneficial to the local population as well now the lifestyle of the people decides what should be the development necessary to them and what should be the correct discrimination in harnessing the resources and using the resources for the better possible way of the people and for their development at another level there is also need to scale down our need for non renewable resources by changing lifestyle that means more and more uh reduction in the use of the renewable resources has to be thought of and we have to cut down on the need for non renewable resources by changing the lifestyle now this is a tri- tricky issue because it may appear as if people are being asked to accept a lower standard of living and this could also be seen as curtailment of their freedom to choose but debating the possibility of alternative lifestyle could also mean increasing avenues for freedom 
and creativity by opening up alternative visions of the good life. However, any such policy would call for a high degree of cooperation between government and people across countries. This would mean adopting democratic methods of decision making on such matters. But if we understand development as a process of enhancing one's freedom and think of people not as passive consumers but as active participants in deciding development goals, it should be possible to reach agreement on such issues. In the process, our notions of rights, freedom and justice would be extended as well. Coming to the conclusion of the chapter, the idea of development refers to the desire for better life. This is a very powerful desire and the hope of improvement is driving force of human action. How widely accepted versions of what constitutes improvement have come under critical scrutiny. There is a multi-pronged search for a more equitable, sustainable, democratic model of development. In the process, a number of concepts of political theory such as equality, democracy and rights have been reinterpreted. The issues that have arisen while pursuing the goal of development reveal that the choices we make have an impact upon others, other human beings and other species in the world. We must therefore see ourselves as a part of the larger universe for our fates are linked together. Besides, my actions not only affect others, they also have an impact upon my own future possibilities. That is why we need to therefore choose carefully, keeping in mind not just our present needs but also our long term interest in it. Assignment that has to be done in chapter 10 part 5 is as follows. The process of development also have an effect on lifestyle of the people justify. You have to go through the chapter well in this part and have to write down the answer of this question in detail. In the Next session, we will start with the revision of the political science chapters that we have done till now. With this, we have completed the syllabus of class 11 political science for session 2020-2021. Om Namah Shivaya.